Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And during this time, it seems like there's been a really awesome push from various actors and celebrities to just keep things very positive while everyone's staying at home. And we've actually seen a lot of really awesome Disney stars come out and try to lighten up the mood, share some positivity in the community by making some really awesome videos from home. So today we wanted to take a look at some Disney stars coming together and some of the videos that they have posted and we wanted to talk about them a little bit. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. But before we can jump into it, huge shout out to our DC Thursday winner of the day. If you guys didn't know, every single Thursday we ask a challenging DC related question on our community tab. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can participate on our challenging DC trivia question. If you get the answer right, you have a chance to have your comment featured in one of our videos. We also do Marvel Monday. If you're more of a Marvel fan, you could participate in that as well. All right, let's get back into this. This first one was so exciting. When this happened, especially if you were a Disney fan in the mid 2000s, but the high school musical cast actually got together and performed, we're all in this together for a Disney family sing-along. It's so good to see you guys. It's crazy. <laughs> it just goes to show you though, there is nothing like the power of music to lift up the spirits. Hey everybody, from our homes to your homes, get ready to get your head in the game. On the other hand, Disney Channel stars Ross Lynch and Laura Morano got back together and reunited over a Zoom call. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the song or you hear me introduce your character? I think I think of uh, the auditioning process first and foremost. And like that, those first Tayworries that we did and of the pilot. I remember getting stuff. a call from Kevin and Heath, who were the creators of the show. And they were like, hey man, I just want to let you know, like, you got the job. And like, like, how are you feeling? I just kept saying, I'm so pumped. Like they kept asking, they were like, yeah, like, like what else, man? I'd be like, I'm pumped. On the other side of things, the Jonas Brothers, who are just crushing it with their music lately, did some confessions from quarantine during a Jimmy Fallon interview. I talk to my dog like it's a real person. Mm. That's, oh. gotta be, that's gotta be Joe, I think. I actually think yeah. it's Nick. It's uh, does Nick have a dog? He yeah. does. It, it's Gino true. the German. It's definitely Nick and Diana. New job. He got a new dog. But then on the other side of things, we can take a look at Miley Cyrus, the actress from Hannah Montana, back on the Disney Channel way back in the day, but also made a name for herself as just a mainstream musician and celebrity. She shared some positive news on Community Quarantine. I have some great news um, coming from LA. Um, regardless of what you've read, I want to just share all the positive news that's happening. I know it's easy to focus on the negative, so I wanted to share something positive that's happening in Los Angeles. Mayor Garcetti, who I have had the honor of having dinner with at the My Friends Place Gala. He's a supporter of Happy Hippie, and I'm a supporter of Mayor Garcetti. Mayor Garcetti just announced that he's converting 42 recreation centers into homeless shelters with 6,000 beds donated by American Red Cross. So it's super important to highlight the good information rather than obsess over the negative. So if any of the people in the shelter test positive for COVID-19, the mayor is working on getting trailers so that they can be isolated and recover and not spread it to others. And while this stuff has been going on, it seems to have affected a lot of people, just globally, of course. And Tom Hanks, who plays Woody in the Toy Story movies, actually shared his personal experience. Now, I was uh, diagnosed back in March with the coronavirus. I was first diagnosed down in Australia. Now, the folks in Australia are fantastic in every way, but they use Celsius instead of Fahrenheit when they take your temperature. So when they come in and they say, you're 36, which seemed very bad to me, but it turns out 36 is fine. 
And what's really interesting about Tom Hanks is while he was tested positive for the virus, he actually went on with his wife and offered their blood to help possibly find a cure or a vaccine, which is such an awesome move. And it just shows that he is a great leader in the community as he's using his own life as an example as to what we should do in this weird and difficult time. And then on the other side of things, we have Tom Hale who actually offered up some tips for lowering anxiety and staying sane while in quarantine. Tom Hale, of course, is the voice actor of Forky in Toy Story 4. One thing I've been doing, I love that I have all these tools for anxiety, but one is called the box breathing. Have you ever heard of that? No. Where you just kind of, um, it's like you take the sides of a box and you breathe in for five, you hold for five, hold your breath for five, you breathe out for five, and then you just kind of rest for five. And what is it does, it just kind of slows your heartbeat down, which in actuality kind of slows your thinking down. We also can look to Ellen, who not only has a talk show, but also plays Dory in Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, and she shared some random thoughts. All right, so this is, uh, here's some random thoughts that I've written down. I wrote them down, and then what I did is I typed them on pieces of paper, and then I <laughs> cut them. Uh, if a Tesla is quiet when it's moving a whole car, why can't a leaf blower be quiet when it's moving a tiny leaf? I hear cheers out there. That's a good question. It is. Seriously. It is. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. It's, 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 it's infuriating. I find it funny. On the other side, former Disney star Demi Lovato, another huge musician, did an Instagram live stream not too long ago. <sighs> Wait, I need to turn this around. This is hilarious. Oh, hold up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start over. Okay. Um, I'm just here live. I'm about to go live actually with Cara Delevingne. We are going to talk about our Quibi shows. So I'm really excited. Um, it's gonna be, my first time interviewing anybody, especially on live, uh, Instagram live. So I'm really, really excited. I'm actually a little nervous. So we'll see how this goes, but it should be good. How are you guys doing? Jonathan, what's up? I miss you. I have the best fans. I miss all of you guys. What are you guys doing during quarantine? What's keeping you entertained and busy? Also, are you excited for my Quibi show? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a name yet, but... Okay. And Josh Gad, who voices Olaf in Frozen 1 and Frozen 2, did a video where he reads the children's book, The Giving Tree. And also during this time, he mentions that he's been voicing a mini series of Olaf called A Home with Olaf. And that was a pretty big deal when that was all dropped as well during this time. Howdy, Robert Downey Jr. here. Hope you're doing as well as can be expected. It's weird, I mean, I'm telling you, it's hard not to be overwhelmed by the enormity of the challenge we're facing in this pandemic, and I'm glad to be taking a minute to raise awareness and hopefully a little much needed dough for an organization called CORE. CORE stands for Community Organized Relief Effort. And it's right on time, right on schedule. What is job one? right now it's testing i think but it is such a massive undertaking you've been watching the news and it ain't cheap right now core is the only organization that is boots on the ground working with mayors and governors to coordinate free drive-through covid19 testing in la Atlanta and they're looking to expand nationwide. So what do you guys think of these videos? We have just kind of communicating with their own communities in whatever way. Has it been helpful during this time? And as we ease back into things, do you think that these videos should continue to be put out? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. We also, by the way, have been covering a lot of the Marvel actors. So if you like Marvel or just more Disney actors as Marvel and Disney are one now, you guys can check out those videos as well. They're really awesome and it's been really cool to get to look at all of these
these awesome people coming together to just do something different. Anyways though, that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. You can also check out our Instagram. There's a link in the description down below. We'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video. Yes. I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> 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 See you guys. No